Hey everybody, John here. So this video is gonna talk about how to calibrate your car and what it did for me. So in short, lowering it past 20%, maybe even 10%, even extreme ways like you're gonna see in this video, did increase my range uh, you know, from having it. So I've had my car uh, since September 2018, and I did notice after a while, my car was not charging up to the level in the miles that it used to say. So charging it, uh, you know, like you're gonna see in this video, actually did help my range and really give me um, that good range back. So watch this video, enjoy. So they want you to deplete the battery many times, like 10 cycles. So I gotta deplete the battery to under 20%. And I talked to a guy last night and he's just gonna, he said, take it down really, really super low. So I'm gonna see how far I can take it. So I'm taking it down to three miles. I've got about eight mile range right now. And I'm about five miles from home or three miles from home. So anyway, I think I can make it home. Uh, no problem, but it is kind of scary. I am uh, I'm doing it, but I have seen some increase in battery life doing this. I've taken it down to 20% or below, even 10%, and I go ahead and increase it, uh, you know, and charge it up to about 80%. And I've been noticing that my mileage is getting back to normal. So that's what you want to do. You don't want to charge it to 100% all the time. You only want to charge it to about 100% when you're going on a trip. But if you're doing daily uh, charges, you, some people, it's just fine. They still keep with their mileage. But for me, I've had a little trouble. So I am uh, trying to regain the mileage. So let's go ahead and see how it happens. My range is eight miles. This is ridiculous. I'm trying to get home with, uh, I might not even make it home, I don't even know. But anyway, this is kind of crazy. So I'm doing this so that I can go ahead and increase my range. My mile is like a seven mile range right now. This is ridiculous. I'm driving kind of slow right now. And luckily I'm on a road that you're not supposed to travel too fast on anyway. So I'm letting it go on autopilot and just letting the car take over. So I've got seven mile range. I've got, I don't have that far to go. I really love the graphics now with just everything with the latest update, uh, the 10 update. I just love that change. It's really, really good. So anyway, I've got the long range model, which gets about 310 miles uh, range. But now with the increase, I should get 325. So I'm trying to get that 325 back. I've been noticing that when I charge up, I only get about 300 mile range. And I want to kind of uh, gain that extra bit back. And it's just kind of a calculation. They'd like you to use a percentage, but I like to use the miles. And so I'm gonna see how I do with, uh, after charging it, I mean, letting it deplete this low. I've never gone almost out with the battery. I've never gone this far. So if I go ahead and do this and let, you know, see, see where I'm gonna be at, uh, that, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be the trick. So I've done this about two or three times, but not this low, only about 20%. So I'm really going super low. And I'm gonna see if uh, when I charge up to about 80%, I, sh I should get uh, correct mileage. So we're gonna do the calculation. I'm gonna let you see how we do. Okay, only six mile range right now. I'm not that far from home, maybe a couple miles. So, um, you know, it's, so far it's been accurate. You know, I'm kind of concerned when you're dealing with something that's a battery, you know, you kind of think like, well, maybe, you know, it's not as accurate as you, as you think, you know, but from all intents and purposes, it's ticking off the miles like normal, uh, like a regular gas car would. So, you know, it's uh, it's still going. So I'm, I'm just letting it cruise now. I'm going kind of slow. So right now, staying at six miles, I'm pretty happy. Uh, okay, I'm at five miles right now. That is, I'm still not home yet. I'm at five miles. So this is, uh, this is kind of, Kind of nerve-wracking, never been this low in the car. Okay, I am getting about a mile away from home and I'm down to four miles, which is incredible. So I expect, I, I, I calculated that I would be three miles when I got home, three miles left, and that was over 23 miles ago, I calculated I would have three miles left when I get home, and guess what? I think it's gonna happen. So I am really impressed that Tesla really does this right. I mean, you know, it's, Sometimes you get with with uh, uh, with batteries, you know, you, you kind of think like, you know, when it gets down really low, sometimes it gets, it goes really fast, but no, it's, it's true to its word. I am going to have three miles of range when I get home. Okay, I just pulled in and 
I made it actually with four miles to spare on the battery. But look at the message I got when I put it in park. Vehicle consumes battery power while idle. Charge now to ensure your vehicle will start and avoid potential battery damage. We recommend charging now. So, wow. Okay. So I'm definitely going to uh, to go ahead and charge. Of course, sentry mode after uh, you know 20%, your sentry mode will not work. So you know, you sentry mode will not work. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the charger and see if uh, see if I get the right calculated range. All right, let's plug her in. There we go. Okay, so I am charge complete. Last night I finished at uh, 254 at 80% charge and I lost a couple of miles just sitting here. But what I wanted to show you was the fact that at 254, I was able to regain some mileage uh, doing this calibration technique. Now remember, I've done it many times. I've done it like four or five times. And the more you do it, the better, you know, you're gonna get back your calculation. So essentially I got at uh, 254, on the 310 mile range, I would have gotten 80%, 254 miles is 82% of my charge. So so uh, I did increase, because remember, I should be at 325. So at 325, if I'm supposed to get 325 with my 5% increase on the battery, I got 78% at 254. So I didn't quite get 80% of 70 uh, of 325, but I did get 78%. So it is increasing this lowering the battery and then down past 10% or 20% and then charging it back up again at that point, you are regaining a lot of power, but they don't want you to run it at 100% all the time. I do want to show you something right here. I did notice I have it at 80%, but look at the charge. It's actually a little more. Remember, it went to 82% based on my calculation on 10%. So it looks like it did charge up a little bit more. It's kind of neat. Okay, so like I said, at 325 mile range, which is what you would get if you got 5% more with the with the software updates, we I should have been at uh, 260, but I got 254. That's 78%. So that's pretty, you know, that's almost there, you know. Now at 310 mile range, which is what the car was rated for when I originally got it before the software update, I did get 82%. So I got 254 miles. So that's really good. I I really got more than my 80% uh, of range at that original level. So now before I was getting much less. I was in the I was I was 10 10 miles under. Uh, I was in the 40s, 240s, and things like that. So. I wasn't happy with it. I talked to Tesla. They said that there is a calculation issue going on. You know, uh, it's just that the, it's just an estimate. So, you know, it's based on the way you drive. But I like seeing when I first got the car, I like seeing the um, the mileage at what you always see it, you know. And for me, it's 70% or 80% or 90%. I was getting two, actually at 90%, I was getting 279, which I like to see. Now I'm getting much more. I do charge to 80% is what Tesla recommends. I charge 80% every day, but I was charging every day at work. So I stopped doing that. Now I'm now I'm letting it go down a little bit and then, uh, and, and you know, and bringing it back up again. I'm letting it go down 20% and bringing it back up. And I am noticing a big increase. So I am getting my range back. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna do that all the time. I wanna charge it every day or, you know, charge it regularly at work because it's free. I don't wanna charge it at home. So anyway, uh, long story short, you know, dropping it down past 20% and charging it back up about three or four times is gonna give you your, uh, your, your power back, your range back, or at least give you that warm, fuzzy feeling of, of, the, uh, of the range you used to get. I don't think my battery is degraded. I've talked to Tesla, they've run scans on my battery. My battery is not degraded. My battery has not been damaged or anything. It's merely a calculation with software, and I think that's what they're struggling with is just based on your driving and charging. So if you like my channel, please like and subscribe, hit that like button, I do these often. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. It really helps the channel. Take care, everybody.